Bernas de Fenvinge is a retired San Diego State University professor of mathematics, computer scientist, and science fiction author. He is best known for his Hugo Award-winning novels and novellas A Fire Upon the Deep, A Deepness in the Sky, Rainbow's End, Fast Times at Fairmont High, and The Cookie Monster, as well as for his 1984 novel The Peace War and his 1993 essay The Coming Technological Singularity in which he argues that the creation of superhuman artificial intelligence will mark the point at which the human era will be ended, such that no current models of reality are sufficient to predict beyond it. Within 30 years, we will have the technological means to create superhuman intelligence. Shortly after, the human era will be ended. Life and Work, Vinge published his first short story, Bookworm, Run. In the March 1966 issue of Analog Science Fiction, then edited by John W. Campbell, the story explores the theme of artificially augmented intelligence by connecting the brain directly to computerized data sources. He became a moderately prolific contributor to SF magazines in the 1960s and early 1970s. In 1969, he expanded the story Grimm's story into his first novel, Grimm's World. His second novel, the Whitling, was published in 1975. Vinge came to prominence in 1981 with his novella True Names, perhaps the first story to present a fully fleshed out concept of cyberspace, which would later be central to cyberpunk stories by William Gibson, Neil Stevenson, and others. His next two novels, The Peace War and Marooned in Real Time, explore the spread of a future libertarian society and deal with the impact of a technology which can create impenetrable force fields called bobbles. These books built Vinge's reputation as an author who would explore ideas to their logical conclusions in particularly inventive ways. Both books were nominated for the Hugo Award, but lost to novels by William Gibson and Orson Scott Card. These two novels and true names also emphasized Vinge's interest in the technological singularity. True Names takes place in a world on the cusp of the singularity. The Peace War shows a world in which the singularity has been postponed by the bobbles and a global plague, while Marooned in Real Time follows a small group of people who have managed to miss the singularity which otherwise encompassed Earth. Vinge won the Hugo Award with his 1992 novel, A Fire Upon the Deep. In it, he envisions a galaxy that is divided up into zones of thought, in which the further one moves away from the center of the galaxy, the higher the level of complexity one can achieve. Nearest the center is the unthinking depths, where even human-level intelligence is impossible. Earth is in the slow zone, in which faster-than-light travel cannot be achieved. Most of the book, however, takes place in a zone called the beyond, where the computations necessary for FTL travel are possible but transcendence beyond the singularity to superhuman intelligence is not. In the last zone, the transcend, there are apparently no limitations at all. The beyond, therefore, permits a classic space opera, using technology that would push past the singularity. Fire includes a large number of additional ideas making for an unusually complex and rich universe and story. A Deepness in the Sky was a prequel to Fire, following competing groups of humans in the slow zone as they struggle over who has the rights to exploit a technologically emerging alien culture. In addition, Deepness explores the themes of technological freedom versus technology as a tool of enslavement and control, among other deep political issues. Deepness won the Hugo Award for Best Novel in 2000. Vinge's novellas Fast Times at Fairmont High and The Cookie Monster also won Hugo Awards in 2002 and 2004 respectively. Vinge's 2006 novel, Rainbow's End, set in a similar universe to Fast Times at Fairmont High, won the 2007 Hugo Award for Best Novel. His next novel was released in October 2011. The Children of the Sky is a sequel to A Fire Upon the Deep, set approximately ten years later. Vinge retired in 2000 from teaching at San Diego State University, in order to write full-time. Most years, since its inception in 1999, Vinge has been on the Free Software Foundation's selection committee for their award for the advancement of free software. Werner Vinge was writer guest of honor at Conjosa Copyright, the 60th World Science Fiction Convention in 2002. Vinge was formerly married to Joan D. Vinge, 
also an accomplished science fiction author. Themes, the concepts of artificial intelligence and technological singularity inform much of Binge's writing, whether his stories embrace them or construct worlds to specifically explain the non-existence of these phenomena. A pro-market anarcho-capitalist theme can be seen in other works either explicitly or more quietly. References in other works, in Gene Wolfe's The Fifth Head of Cerberus, the narrator finds a collection of Werner Vinge stories on a top shelf of a far future library on a distant world, though the cover has been so worn down that he thinks a librarian must have mistaken the V Vinge on the spine as Winge. In David Brin's Kiln People, there is a reference to the main character experiencing something like Vingean focus, an apparent reference to a deepness in the sky. Vinge's review of the book is featured on the back cover. The Vinge catastrophe is mentioned in Chapter 8 of Charles Strauss' novel Accelerando, and also on the Ian Douglas Star Carrier series. In the sleeve notes for Harmonic 313's album When Machines Exceed Human Intelligence, Mark Pritchard refers to his good friend Werner Vinge, crediting him for naming the technological singularity. In Robert J. Sawyer's WWW, Watch, a novel featuring an emerging artificial intelligence, a character quotes from Vinge's 1993 essay The Coming Technological Singularity in reference to what is happening. The Tyne race, introduced in A Fire Upon the Deep, is an example of a gestalt sentient species, a race that is only sentient in a grouping of individually non-sentient members. Anvil of Stars, by Greg Bear, also makes use of this type of alien with its cord race, although as both books were released in 1992, it is unlikely that one references the other. In the Weeb comic Questionable Content, a fictional speech on AI rights is quoted. The full speech, available on the artist's website, names the speaker as V. Vinge in homage to Vinge. Bibliography equals Novels equals, Grimm's World Expanded is Tad Grimm's World, The Whitling, Rainbows and ISBN 0 312 85684 9 A Euro Hugo and Locus SF Awards winner, 2007. Campbell Award nominee, 2007. Real Time Bobble Series, A Euro. The Peace War. Blue Jay Books. ISBN 0-312-94342-3 OCLC 10996240 A Euro Hugo Award nominee, 1985, The Ungoverned, A Euro Marooned in Real Time Blue Jay Books ISBN 0-312-94295-8 a Euro Prometheus Award winner, Hugo Award nominee, 1987. Zones of Thought series, A Fire Upon the Deep A Euro Nebula Award nominee, 1992. Hugo Award winner, 1993. Campbell and Locus SF Awards nominee, 1993. A Deepness in the Sky A Euro Nebula Award nominee, 1999. Hugo, Campbell, and Prometheus Awards winner, 2000. Clark and Locus SF Awards nominee, 2000, The Children of the Sky. Equals collections equals, across real time ISBN 0-671-72098-8, The Peace War, The Ungoverned, Marooned in Real Time. True Names. And Other Dangers ISBN 0-671-65363-7. Bookworm, Run. True Names, The Peddler's Apprentice, The Ungoverned, Longshot. Threats. And Other Promises ISBN 0-671-69790-0, Apartness, Conquest by Default, The Whirligig of Time, Gemstone, Just Peace, Original Sin, The Blabber. True Names and the Opening of the Cyberspace Frontier ISBN 0-312-86207-5, The Collected Stories of Werner Vinge ISBN 0-312-87373-5 or ISBN 0-312-87584-3, including Vinge's comments from the earlier two volumes. Bookworm, Run. The Accomplice. The Peddler's Apprentice, The Ungoverned, Longshot, Apartness, Conquest by Default, 
the Whirligig of Time, Bomb Scare, the Science Fair, Gemstone, Just Peace, Original Sin, The Blabber, win a Nobel Prize. The Barbarian Princess, Fast Times at Fairmont High. Equals essays equals. Equals uncollected short fiction equals, a dry martini, the cookie monster, synthetic serendipity, i.e. Spectrum Online, June 30, 2004, a preliminary assessment of the Drake equation, being an excerpt from the memoirs of Star Captain Y.T. Lee, BFF's first adventure. References. External links, Verna Vinge at the Internet Speculative Fiction Database. Verna Vinget Library of Congress Authorities, with 17 catalog records, works by Verna Vinget Open Library. Equals about Vinge equals, Verna Vinget DMOZ, Verna Vinge, at Worlds Without End, Rainbows End Official Website, Hofner, Katie. A Scientist's Art, Computer Fiction. The New York Times. P. G1. Equals Essays and Speeches equals, the Coming Technological Singularity, How to Survive in the Post-Human Era, 1993, Accelerating Change 2005, Verna Vinge Keynote Address, Seminars About Long-Term Thinking, Verna Vinge, 2020 Computing, The Creativity Machine, from Nature Magazine, March 23, 2006. Verna Vinge's Keynote Address at the 2006 Austin Games Conference. Equals Interviews Equals Interview by Reason, Interview by Glenn Reynolds and Helen Smith, Interviews on the podcast series The Future and You, April 8, 2006, May 1, 2006, Interview for the Singularity Symposium.